So today we're going to start talking about logic and geometry is the most logical math. It's very systematic and there's always a reason for everything you do. So a huge part of geometry is these if-then statements and they allow us to do a lot of our proving of things. So a conditional is a statement is a statement that follows this pattern if P and P is just an action then Q and Q is just another action so for an example if it rains, then soccer practice will get canceled, where you have one statement, P, that implies another statement, Q. So the conditional that you're given is always true. We're going to talk about some other kinds of statements that are not always, they're not necessarily always true. Okay. And one of those is called the converse, where you take the two statements and you flip them. So if Q, then P. So if soccer practice is canceled, then it rained, where you're saying that instead of P implying Q, you have Q implies P. So if you look at this one, if soccer practice is canceled, then it rained. That's assuming that the only time soccer practice is canceled is when it rains. If there's not school, um, like if there's a snow day or something, soccer practice is going to be canceled too. That's why this statement isn't always true. For certain statement, for certain if then statements, it could be true, but we can't say with certainty that it is true. So now we're going to talk about another statement called the inverse, where you take the opposite of the first action and then and say that if not P, then not Q. And this little symbol right here means you negate it, which is which just means when you put not in front of P, you're negating the action. So if it is not raining, then soccer, soccer practice is not canceled. So not P implies not Q. But this you have to be careful with because like the converse, the inverse is not always true. Because think about it. If it is not raining, then soccer practice is not canceled. Well, didn't we just say that there could be other reasons soccer practice is canceled, it doesn't always have to be when it's raining. It just says that if it does rain, soccer practice is canceled. So we can't just simply switch. We can't negate each one and say it's true. So the last one, and this is the only statement other than the conditional you're given, that is always true. So if not Q, then not P. So the contrapositive is really just taking the converse and taking the inverse and doing it at the same time. Because we're going to switch the order of the two actions and we're going to negate them with the not statements. So if soccer practice, I should say practice, If soccer practice is not canceled, then it is not raining, where we have not Q that implies not P. So think about it. If we were going to state this a different way, we it would just say, it would just say that if soccer practice is if they are having soccer practice, then it's not raining, which makes sense because our original conditional said that if it rains, they will not have soccer practice. 
So this is the only statement where it's true. So it's really important to remember this one because this, this contrapositive of some of our theorems that we've learned is going to help us solve some proofs later on. So that's all we're going to do with logic, but as promised, our next lesson is going to deal with more proofs. So make sure you come back and watch that.